Hey viewers, welcome once again to this platform. This is a platform meant for constructive conversation around the issues pertaining to law and justice. Today's topic is on the customary legal system. What is a customary legal system? I do recall that in the previous conversations and other episodes, we have discussed something about the legal systems, especially in Africa. We looked at the imported or the received legal systems, the mixed legal systems, and the customary legal systems. Today, I would rather focus my attention to another duality system when it comes to customary and statutory. Duality in this case is a cocktail, a combination of what is customary and what is statutory. I want to make this one simple for our better understanding. What is customary is in oral tradition. It is a practice known to the people that use it in that social cultural environment, social cultural field, the language, uh, the terminologies, and the meaning of justice for the people. However, what is statutory is what is enacted, the posited law or the positive legal system, in which the positivists believe that what is in writing, what is in literature, is what is considered scientifically logical and pragmatically law. For the positivists, the only aspect of seeing the law is in the Acts of Parliament. No wonder in the United Kingdom there is the supremacy of the legislation, supremacy of the Acts of Parliament. But remember that it is again in the United Kingdom that the Constitution is not in the written form as the Constitution of the United States of America. It is in oral form. It is customary Constitution. That is why we speak referring ourselves to constitutionalism in which people themselves, the citizens, agree to certain principles and functions of the state powers and how such powers are distributed without putting all that in the written form. And that is what brings about the union. If we want again to justify customary legal system making reference to the United Kingdom, it is very critical to argue as follows. The common law, the law of precedence, the case law, is all about the stare decisis, the judicial opinions and decisions made by judges and such decisions bind the judges in the succeeding decisions on similar analogous cases before the court. If judges do this, they do it because it is in their oral tradition and their belief that they want to bind themselves with the force of decisions. However, generally, the case law is usually not in writing. We have or we do have certain case books. We do have certain digests or the writings that tend to put together and express into writings such court decisions just to abate the courts while making certain decisions. But I want to submit here that the customary legal system is not only a reserve 
for the Africans in Africa, the African continent. It is not only a reserve for, quote-unquote, the black people, whether in Africa or in the diaspora. Customary legal system is practiced by different states and in different continents. We find customary legal systems in other regimes, in India, for instance, in China, in uh, Laos, in Cambodia, in Bangladesh, that means in Asiatic continent, but also in Oceania, in Australia, the Aboriginal rights, for instance, the, in the New Zealand, the Maoris and the practices, also in the two Koreas, in the Philippines, customary legal system is available and found also in the European countries, in the eastern part of Europe, western part of Europe, but also in the United States of America, in Canada, but also in Latin America, in the Caribbeans. When we say customary legal system, it is better we understand it in its two expressions. The first expression is that religious system in which the religion is adopted by a state and the rules and norms that are in the customs and the traditions of such religion become straight away the rules and norms of the state. In that case, that is a state pursuing religious legal system. We have them, Christians, the Jewish, the Hindu. Religious related systems are found in the states that adopt such religious systems, like Sharia law in the Islamic states. But also we have uh, the Jewish people, we have the Hindu, we have also other religions that are very powerful, but also are determining the laws of the state in a very particular way. Another expression of customary law is secular. Secularization simply means the acceptance not to relate any system with religion and there is no state religion. For instance, certain constitutions rule out state religion such as Article 8 of the Constitution of Kenya. That means the customary legal practice takes the form of secular and in that case they are referred to as living customary laws in the sense of they are practices by the people. They are rules and norms with the force of law and in that case they are considered the customary legal system and customary judicial system and in that case they are customary simply because they are not in written form whereas law is statutory insofar as it has been interpreted by legislators into a written law or rather an act of parliament. Certain jurists are still reluctant to admit that customary legal system should be recognized and they prefer the process known as legal positivism in which the law must be posited, it must be enacted by the legislator. Can there be law without the legislator that is known to the people? That is the question 
which is prominent. This brings us to another critical argument, the hierarchy of laws, in which there is the superior and the inferior laws, in which the statutory law is upheld as superior to the customary laws. In that form, we see that in case of conflict of laws, then the superior law overrides the inferior law. And in the same order and analysis, we can safely argue that the customary legal system is taken to be inferior, whereas the statutory legal system is taken indeed to be superior or to be prevalent. If this is sufficient to help us understand the distinction between the customary legal system and the statutory legal system, I would agree that we are making a progress in our knowledge about the customary legal systems. But let us dismiss the notion that customary law is only a preserve for Africa, for the African people, and for the African independent states. It is not because of anything that is not known in the law, but it is because it is a practice. What is in Africa can only be referred to as the African customary legal system. But there are also other customary legal systems that might have been overshadowed by the statutory legal system. We have the Maoris, the Aborigines, and also we see ancestral property law in India and uh, many other practices coming from the customary legal system are promoted or upscaled to the level of the statutory law and the constitutional law. Thank you for watching. Peter here, University of Nairobi School of Law, Kisum Campus. Bye for now.